The story behind this is my grandfather came to Kingsville in 1916 and bought a drugstore at the time. I still call them drugstores. Uh, from a man that had opened it about two years before. And so where my grandfather operated and ran it, I, he was never a pharmacist. My father went to pharmacy school and became a pharmacist. And then I was thinking if I could get a degree in pharmacy, I'd have a job. So I became a pharmacist and came to work with him and I got to work with him for about five years before he passed away. And so I've been, along with others in the families off and on. I've been in charge of it for the last 40 years. 35, I think it's 40. Yeah. It's 40 years. And so the drugstore is 100 years old this year. And we were originally in the building just to the east of us and uh, had about 10 or 12 employees. And about 20 years ago, we moved into the building we're in now, expanded and had to expand the size of the soda fountain so it could handle more people and we've got about 25 employees now and we have a soda fountain with food and drinks and cards and gifts and a pharmacy and still have delivery service uh, for people that are housebound and can't get out. Well, we in, in the pharmacy we carry all the pharma, different pharmaceuticals. We do carry the, the thing that I find that people like to look for more in here are soaps, and so we carry some soaps that have been around for a long time, pine tar soap, and uh, cough syrups that you don't always find, pre-emulsion, and baby, baby Percy for uh, colic and indigestion. Uh, it, uh, it's a little harder to find. Uh, if, we have multiple sources of medications and gifts, so we try to find somebody wants something, we'll be glad to get it because part of the job uh, or being in business is you have a product to sell, so you sell it. The, the, the pharmacy is busy. Uh, we, there, we have a Walgreens, a CVS, a Walmart, an HEB pharmacy in town, and uh, Pharmacy is a group of professionals and everybody gets along and always has been and helps each, each other out. So if they have a prescription they either can't read or can't find the medicine, they'll call one of the other stores to see if they can get it, uh, same way we do with them. Uh, the big difference years ago, if, if we didn't have a medicine, we could go find it for the patient in another store, go pick it up bring it back, fill it for them, and, and, give, it a, and give it to them. And then when the met, our, our order came in, we'd give, it, give back what we borrowed. Nowadays, because of inventory control and, and that kind of thing, the, the large chains aren't allowed, don't allow you to do that. But uh, we still try to help each other out the, the same.